One of the projects that I absolutely wanted to get done before the baby arrived was our wardrobe. Now to be fair there's nothing really wrong with this wardrobe, it's semi-functional. Once we removed the doors and it couldn't bump into the bed it was a bit better but there's this wall part which blocks off half of it. The shelf sagged, the clothes rail sagged and also the side all the way up here you can still see water damage from when we had to get the roof fixed a good eight months to a year ago. That mark is still there. So what I started doing is I started designing what I wanted and with all of the designs that I do, I never settle with the first one. The first design is always the worst. There's always things that you haven't thought about or have overthought and you just need a bit of time to really look at it and see what works for you. So the first design that I did was too complicated by far. We didn't actually need that much storage. I knew that I wanted a rail for Godathon, I knew that I wanted a rail for myself, I wanted an area for the bed sheets as well. I hate having the bed sheets not in the bedroom, it drives me nuts. So in the end I decided for something that was kind of 50-50 split. Same amount of space for each of us, a clothes rail and a higher shelf. And in the end I just hired someone to do it because I was far too fat and pregnant and I knew that they were going to do a beautiful job in three days, but if I tried to do it myself, apart from possibly hurting myself, it would take me a good two or three weeks where it was going to look awful and be messy and dusty. I wouldn't be able to relax in my bedroom, so I just decided, you know what, it's not worth it. Get someone in and it was worth every penny. <laughs> Someone is in huggy mode. I just need to paint, I think, this, that, this, then my side as well. So this one, that one, and then the bars there. If I do that, then tomorrow when the rails arrive, I can just install them, get all the clothes up, and then I can tackle that part. So this is my focus for the moment. I thought that this was going to be a similar finish to the other paints, but then when I got it, I saw that it said a subtle yet robust sheen. I don't know what that means. I want to check that it's actually kind of finished that I want before I start painting it all over the wardrobe because honestly, the last thing I want to do is have to strip paint on something that size. So I'm going to check it and once I'm sure I'm happy with it, I'm going to paint it on the wardrobe. So let's find out. I ended up putting a second coat because the first one I just washed the brush and there was still quite a lot of water left in it so I ended up watering down the paint. It's not completely dry but it's, it's pretty dry and you know what, that actually no it is dry isn't it? So that's it, it's got a slight sheen but that's actually really really nice. This just arrived, which should be the rails. I'm really pleased it's arrived now. I was told it was gonna to arrive this evening, uh, which would have been a pain in the neck because I just want to get this done. So now that that's arrived, I'm going to go upstairs. I'm going to paint the rest of the wardrobe, I think. Then I'll measure everything out because this is, is going to be, need to be cut down. And hopefully I can get the majority of the wardrobe done today. Cupboard in the house 
has this. I know the, the food cupboard has this. I'm going to paint the part of the walls in the pantry black as well. Just the ones at the very back, I like it. It just makes it look a little bit bigger than it actually is and just creates really nice depth. And I was very, very tempted to paint the wall behind the bed this colour, but once I started painting the wardrobe this colour, I realised that if I did that to that wall, it was going to make the room close up a little bit. Um, and I don't want that. I want my bedroom to feel big and light and airy. And I like it in cupboards just because it makes it look a little bit deeper. Um, and I think that the contrast of the black and the white makes whatever's in that space stand out more um, and you don't kind of visually lose things. But yeah, once I painted this, I realized that nah, that's not gonna work behind the bed. But what I think I am going to do, and I can't do this before the baby arrives, so this will have to be a, a kind of post, <laughs> post baby project, is I want to paint the wall to make it look textured so that it's a mixture of creams and whites with undertones of other colours so it almost have, has a slightly cloudy marble effect. Um, just a stippled, a stippled effect is the word I'm going for. I want to do a bit more research because I'd also like to put kind of gold flecks into the wall so that the wall always looks different. It always looks different depending on the light and the way the sun catches it and things like that but I need to think about it and then see what I'm gonna do. Okay, good, I'm pretty happy with that. Now all I need to do is paint this side again, the top, um, and then I'll see how much paint is left. And I'd like to try and go over the front parts here because there's a few places where it's a bit patchy, but if I can get that done, I'll be happy, and then I can start putting the rails up. Just when I thought I was being so neat. Yeah, my favourite part. How to fix that? I think if I get a spatula and really carefully just pick it away, it should be all right. But oh, that is annoying. I think that's as good as it's gonna get, really. Just realized this is our coat cupboard this holds got our son's coats and my coats it also holds all our clothes for both of us um, <laughs> I might have taken this minimalism thing a little too far somehow I messed that up and instead of it being level it was like that not by much but enough to be noticeable and enough to drive me mad so I'm gonna have to fix it I am getting really fed up with this project I just, I was hoping to get everything that I wanted to get done done today, but I'm getting so tired right now, I think I might just throw in the towel. And I know I'm just tired, so right now it's the tired talking, so I'm gonna get the rail fixed, 
and hopefully once the rail's fixed I'll just I'll have enough emotional energy to push through and just get the last bits done. That is how much I was off. That's where I made the holes originally and this is where they should have been. Okay, you know what? After doing that, God, if someone prefers having one rail. <laughs> so you know what? I'm only going to put one rail on my side because I just can't be bothered putting a second one on today. And as it is, that might work out quite well because then I can put a little shoe rack underneath once we eventually get some skirting board in there. Which will be really nice, everything will be in one place and organised so I might do the same on the other side and it will help me be a lot more careful and a lot more conscious about what I let into my wardrobe and not give myself too much room to buy too many clothes. Right, let's hope it fits this time. Okay, one. Ah, good. And it's in. And let's check that's level, even though if it's not level I really don't care at this point but I just want to know. Ha ha ha, bang on. Okay, I really don't need a second rail. That's, um, yeah, that, that's sparse. Um, and that's before I've even separated the winter clothes from the summer clothes. So yeah, I don't need a second rail, which is fine by me because then once we have the skirting board, I can put something for my shoes. And that's good because what I don't see, I don't use. So having them all in that drawer is not the best solution. To be fair, I do have a few things which aren't hanging up. I have my blue dress, which I've shown on Instagram quite a few times, but I want to adjust it and just turn it into a long skirt because the top part, as much as I love off the shoulder stuff, it's the kind of off the shoulder that's far too elasticated. So it keeps slipping up and just moving around and it annoys me. And I don't wear this dress as much as I would like to because of that. So I want to fix that, turn it into a skirt. Same for this, it's a lovely leopard print, um, but it's a dress and I really hate the top. I want to turn it into a skirt. And then this is something you saw me do in a video a while ago, it took me forever. And then I realized I really don't like it because it's just far too heavy on the silk. So I'm gonna take it off and I'm going to combine one of my other skirts, which is this beautiful silk burgundy color and put that underneath as a liner so that you get a kind of layered effect. You'll have this red on the top and then you'll have this peeping out underneath and it's kind of like a tulip skirt and it's going to be gorgeous if I can get it to look how I want. So this all needs to go into the project pile so that I don't, so that I see it and it annoys me enough to get to it. So that's not going to be hanging in the wardrobe. But yeah, for today, I think that's it. It's painted. I still need to wait for the carpet to come back and do the coving. So that will just have to be another day. I also still need to put in the skirting board along there on this side, put a shoe rack on each side, but for today, this project is done. If you like my content and want to follow me on Patreon, that's where you can find my early content, extra content, and see the thought process behind things like my books, cover designs, videos, and artwork. You can also find me on Instagram, but the best place to follow me and make sure that all my new content is sent directly to you is through my website and the mailing list. On the top right hand corner, you put your name, the email you want your new content to be sent to, and that's it. You're done.